Enter now, as this horror night begins! <laughs> We went through the first house. Something wasn't right. It almost looked a little too real. Cuz. That shit was real, right? That shit, that shit was real, cuz. felt like it was. Man, you heard Spidey sense, man, nigga. It's my nigga sense. We need to get the hell out of here. ASAP. Well, this is gonna be the last of us. Get the hell out of here. Gotta get the hell out of here. Man, hey, cuz. We, we trying to get out for like three hours, man. Like, phone service is dead. How do we get out? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I see one in the hood. It's, it's probably Illuminati or something. It's, it's, they probably cloning Tyrone. We gotta get out. They ain't cloning me. Go, go, go. Wait, go. Wait. Don't no one know what's going on? They're killing people out here. Oh, they're killing people. Where's the smoke coming from? I don't, I don't know what's going I'm just trying to escape. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, this is the Cosplay Alliance sponsor Beneath the Cow podcast. I got my big cuz, my cuz, big slap on the line. How about it, folks? How y'all doing? Hey, I don't know if y'all have experienced Universal Studios Halloween Horror Night shit, but I did for the first time. But I got a veteran on the line with me right now. We going to talk about it. We going to get into it. Indeed, indeed. Only one yo. way. <laughs> And it was the best way I can experience. And tell me, tell me, you had all the tips and tricks. I mean, we hit all 10 houses. All 10 houses and all five scare houses and a show. And we rolled the mummy. And we rolled the mummy. Two days. <laughs> two days, two nights. And how, how do how do we do that? How do we accomplish that? Well, the first thing I like to say is if you go try to hit horror nights, first and foremost, I've been going for about 12 years. 12 years straight, you need to go with a plan. If you don't go with a plan, you up the shit creep. You will never be able to hit all 10 houses unless you pay these astronomical rates for the scare passes and the VIPs and things of that nature. Uh, Chris, uh, you saw it firsthand. They will hold the line and let people skip in front of you. The lines are already after, like crazy long. So if you look if you do, if you come, let's say if you come in like eight o'clock, um, you're screwed. You might get lucky to hit two, maybe three houses. So you have to come with the plan. You have to always have a plan if you're gonna try to do this event. The cat's out the bag. People are coming from all over the world. When I was in my hotel, I heard um, Russian accents, Chinese uh, language, um, United Kingdom language. I just heard so many different accents. So people are coming from all over the world to try to be involved in this event. So um, have a plan first and foremost. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, you better stay on location. You better stay in the Universal yes. Hotel. Yes, that's first and foremost. If you're going to go, do not stay off property. And you need to stay on the Universal, one of the Universal Resorts. They have really, really, they're very, like, price friendly compared to, like, Disney. Be, like, very, like super expensive but uh universal studios is very price friendly as long as you book it ahead of time if you wait too late if you don't book it uh let's say ahead of time you're going to be screwed you're going to be paying astronomical rates but 
they're a lot more price friendly than Disney. So make sure you stay on Universal properties. Now, every second matters when you're in there, when you're trying to get into the houses, right? So when he says stay on Universal property, your key card for your hotel gets you early access. When they say early access, there's a little like gate, little area where they, you know, they'll walk you, walk the guest into. You're trying to figure out who are those people, who are those VIPs, but those are the people that stay in there. And you already done scanned in, you already did your fingerprint, everybody else in this huge crowd. Yes. Are waiting. Yes. You don't have to wait with them. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Line was backed all the way up. If you've ever been to Universal Studios in Florida, you know the bridge where the uh, globe, the Universal Globe is. If you get there, let's say they open gates at 6 30. If you get there at six o'clock, you will 100 percent be waiting <laughs> on the bridge. So you want to make sure you get there early. And if you have that key card, like Chris is talking about, you that will give you early access, which will help you get in early and help you beat the crowd. Because every Second counts. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Now, let's get into some of these houses, man. Like, like, which one you want to start with? All which, right, which, 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 which was your favorite? Uh, All right, my favorite this year. Uh, man, I kind of have uh two. Uh, I got my notes right here, my map or whatnot. Um, between The Exorcist and Blood Moon Dark Offerings. Uh, Blood Dark Offerings was really, really fun to me. It's really uh, different. That's one of the universal kind of haunted houses. That's uh, as what I mean by that is they don't take uh, theming from a movie to make a house out of. Uh, the previous years I went, they got your uh, Walking Dead's, they got your Purges, they got your uh, Black Phone, uh, uh, Michael Myers, Halloween, things of that nature. But Blood Moon Dark Offerings was really, really good. It's really dark. It was really eventful. I really enjoyed it. It was different. I was like, yes, yeah, this is it. And surprisingly, I really enjoyed um, Unmasked, Two Monsters Unmasked. That was the line I wasn't happy with because the line was absolutely insane. You remember it. But the house was, it was worth the wait. I, I thought it was freaking epic, man. So between, i say three then, The Exorcist, Blood Moon Dark Offering and un, um, Universal Unmasked Monsters Unmasked was freaking epic this year, man. Yeah, that Unmasked that's the one I did the time lapse of, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We walking past the line, and I was just like, Zh -zh -zh. I mean, I thought it was gonna be like you know, 10 seconds or something like the line just kept going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one particular part in that house, man, when the guy was on like. <laughs> And it looked like he fell and the rope caught him or whatnot. And it looked like he's going to fall right on top of you. Yeah, I think that would made everybody jump, hey, man. I was so it, telling you, that, it was so good. It looked like the dude was – because I was walking by. I was like, oh, I'm just standing back because I'm like, hey. <laughs> yeah. it like he was, was coming like, down. Hold on me, man. <laughs> but it was great, man. They, they really did good. Uh, <clears throat> we went – they shut it down 2020, COVID year, of course, because of the COVID pandemic or whatnot. They opened it back up 2021. Um, 2021, it was kind of like, oh, man, it wasn't there because they had so many pandemic restrictions and whatnot. So you could see the scares when – you could see the scares before they got there because all the monsters were in like a glass box. So um, 2022, it ramped back up. And, of course, 2023, they got the time and down pat because a lot of the time you see it. You'll see someone jump out on one side and then you'll see somebody else jump out on another side. So the timing was really on point, but um, I thought it was a really good job that they did this year as far as timing. Timing is uh, timing means a lot as far as going to these houses because they don't just let four to five people in the house. You go in in big groups. So they really have to make sure everything's uh, lined up correctly in order for people to get the scares they need to get. Yo, you talked about one of your favorites was the exorcist, and that was like the first house we hit. Yeah, yeah. You got to hit the, man. like, ain't movies like that, man. You know, The Exorcist just came out. Uh, Exorcist Believer. So it just came out. So you know that's going to draw in huge crowds. Some of these crowds, some of these lines get up to 100, 120 to 170 minute waits. So you do the mathematics behind it. That's up to two hour waits potentially. But you go inside of a house. 
the event opens at 6 30 closes down at 2 30 in the morning you've lost two hours uh to be able to go inside of a house i mean you're beating your body up florida conditions a lot of time you go in florida it's gonna be hot muggy you're thirsty your feet hurt things of that nature so you got to make sure you have a plan before you go in these houses but you go in we attack them pretty we attack the main houses on the friday that we went so therefore we was able to kind of hit the universal houses the next day so everything will end up working out but make sure you uh, have a plan of attack for these houses. If not, you, you, you'll be up the shit creek. <laughs> now, all the houses to me aren't scary, right? So, like, some of the houses weren't scary, but some of them were like fan service, like like yes. Stranger Things, The yes. Last of Us, and Chucky. To me, yeah. those houses weren't scary, but the yeah. production quality in those, 100%. it was like being on set. Yeah, man. And what people got to realize, man, you're at Universal Studios, man, in Orlando. They literally film, they have filmed major, like, award-winning films at this place. So they're setting up these houses in these studios, man, and they pack them out. <clears throat> Stranger Things. Remember Stranger Things? We went in there, and it, it was like we was walking in the house, and it was like, we felt like. Yeah. And there's like a storm outside. It's like, man, this is going down, man. This is crazy. And uh, last year when me and my wife went, um, they had a Halloween house because Halloween was the big movie then. Well, um, we walked in and it's like, man, it, was, it felt like it was like you could feel the wind because they had the, the whatever machines they use. Like it was blowing at you, man. They had the thunder popping, man. You see. Michael Myers jump out, man, it was insane. So they're doing these houses in these major studios. So um, it's just a hell of an experience. And not, yes, um, to some people, it will not scare you. But you go into this event with an open mind. This is to entertain. This is entertainment. That's the reason why I go. I'm not going to uh, to be, you know, freaked out or whatnot. If I want to do that, I go to uh, the event they put on in uh, San Diego where you get on a boat, a boat and they torture you for four hours to make you quit. So I go for the entertainment purposes. And if I get a jump scare, I get a jump scare. A bunch of times, man, I, you know, me, uh, me and my wife have a tradition, man. I'm always in front of her. She's always behind me. And I can't tell you how many times I fell in her arms. <laughs> you know? Hey, some of those, like, they, now, no, now, don't get it twisted. There are some jump scares. There are some good well, jump scares. Yeah, yeah. Don't well, get it twisted. Like, the uh oh the Yeti, the Yeti campground kills yeah. had a couple one and the Yeti was like in your space. It was like Yeah, yeah, it was right there. Yeah, it was in your space. I was like, oh, like one looked at me and it looked like it was gonna stop. And all of a sudden it just kept coming, kept coming at me. I was like, oh. Yeah. I I'm for that Yeti one, I'm thinking I'm like, they must have found every person in Florida who was seven foot that can act. And put them in a costume because every Yeti character in that in that house was super tall. Yeah. So like, All right, man. When they find every tall person in Florida that can that can act. Yeah. Uh, they must talk to Orlando Magic and have them uh dressing up as you know. Uh, they brought they brought back Shaq, you know. Yeah. Oh, outlaw. They brought all all of the run runny cycling. All yeah. all of them. Got big Penny Hard. Beat everybody. But yo, man, good event like. Though. The Chucky one. I just want to talk about, like, as a as a fan of Chucky, see, me and my cousin, we grew up watching horror movies together, like. 100%. Written tons of horror movies. Of course, Chucky is in there, right? That franchise. Yep. Now, if you were a fan of Chucky, like, it wasn't scary, but, no. like, from a production value, you know, Chucky really isn't, like, super scary in general anyways. Like, it's like a, it's a, it's a comical element, too. Yeah, you know yeah, and Chucky, but and they really lean yeah. into that. And like the intro when you're waiting in line, that was just funny. I'm trying to what, what, damn, what did he say? He said, uh, he says, I'm like, they, you know, they really actually don't kill people during this event. <laughs> Contract to kill at least five people, <laughs> yeah. like, like, what are you talking about? And like, seeing some of the footage, man, some there's some funny clips out there of him. On some of his epic kills on a new show, man. I'm like, man, this is great, man. And um, I, it, Chucky was also a really, really well thought out house. It was super aggressive. 
It was loud. I mean, you got the Chucky laughs. And the thing, the theming for the Chucky house was Chucky, you know, we all know how Chucky, if anybody's horror fans, we all know how Chucky became Chucky. It was a voodoo ritual. So in this house, Chucky conducted a voodoo ritual that possessed everything in the house. So everything's possessed. So you got multiple dolls, you got all types of stuff, and then next thing you know, Chucky jumps out. <laughs> so it was just really, really, really well thought out, man. I thought it was freaking epic. Um, if it was a scale of one to ten, I give the Chucky House a nine, man. It was freaking awesome, man. Definitely, like I said, it wasn't about being like super scared, right? It was just, it was like the quality of the production. It was like all, all the freaking attention to details, the makeup, the blood, the guts, it was all there. 100%. 100%. It's always about your theming, man. If you're, if you're going to have people wait for for an hour or two hours or even 45 minutes, um, you want to have good theming before you get into the house, man. You want to have something that's going to keep the people, you know, anxious to get in before you walk into that that darkness and it's like, all right, it's on. It's on. So, you know what I mean? I like, I like to always be like, hey, Let's make sure the theme is on point, and they did a good job of making sure the theme was on point. So Chucky is definitely in my top five for this year. That was another one. What was it? The uh, what's the tent one? The Doctor Odd Fellows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was like that one was cool because like you had the like the dude that was that was the one with dude was singing and stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one with the gentleman was singing. What they did was they uh, no no no. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see. Uh, the darkest deal was the one with the person singing. That's like the uh, okay. blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you're right. You're right. Yeah, they took they took uh, the storyline based on, I believe it was the gentleman. I forgot his name, but I, I don't know if it was the devil went down. The song, but um, when the old blues singer was down and out, he was broke, and then he was he was up to his wit's end, and then he he was approached by Satan, and Satan offered him. Uh, Satan offered to make this man the most popular blues singer in the world. Only at the sacrifice of providing Satan with his soul. So the man, of course, he was hurting. He needed money. He was broke. So he sold his soul to the devil. Um, he became this big famous singer. And next thing you know, all these dark things start happening to him in his life, which ultimately led to him dying. And that's what the darkest deal, that's the name of the house. That's what the darkest deal was about. And we went in that house. Remember, we had the, they had like the concert going on when he was singing. And then next thing you know, yeah. everything went freaking dark. And then we went yeah. to the scene. And it was like, okay, well, now obviously he's in hell. So <laughs> he's, he's, he's being tortured for that deal that he made with the devil. So, I mean, this shit gets dark, man. I mean, it was, it was people, some people may not understand the logic behind the stories and stuff of these houses. But real horror fanatics, we understand, like, okay, this is a story. I see the timeline behind all this. Yeah. So I really, really uh, showed out, man, with this one, man. Much respect to the writers and directors and everything. The cast members, um, the houses wouldn't move without the cast members. So the cast members did freaking amazing, man. So um, that one was also a really good one. Yep, man, I'm telling you, there was some – it was – Blood, wait, we gotta talk about the blood moon. That was dope. Mm -hmm. And the scare zones, man. The scare zones were, were good. Like, yeah, yeah, the scare zones are awesome, man. We had fun in the scare zone. Man, I, I'm the type of person, man. Some people might be like, you know, some people we seen people run through the scare zones. I'm the type of person, man. Let me get a beer. Hell, we got a couple of drinks, man. We we were chilling out in the scare zones, man. Like, come on, like, let's like, this is a party, man. Chilling. Get it, like. You know, crank them chainsaws up. You know what I mean? I want to hear the screams. I want to hear people. I want to see people running. You know, it was a good time to me, man. Um, something else we didn't talk about. The main house this year, well, I would say the most popular house this year was The Last of Us. Yeah. No, nah, that and that house, man, that was that was probably one of the longest waits we had. It was like, what, 70 minutes or something when we went? We waited a good minute for that one. I, I think The Last of Us was, yes, it was. I think we waited over an hour for that. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, like I said, it wasn't like, 
if you were a fan of the show, you would have loved the house because it was just like it's like you were really on set in that world. You had the clickers and everything, and yeah. you you had you know people acting as the main characters, Joel and. Yeah, it was yeah. it was it was it was cool like it, so it wasn't necessarily scary but it was like cool like being a part of that experience and intense man uh the makeup looked good the clickers a bunch of jump scares in there as far as uh you're walking in it's dark the next thing you know the lights uh scroll on and then you got a clicker right there in front of your face man so i was like man this is freaking awesome yeah but that was another great house, man. I was very, very impressed as far as uh, the production and um, the teamwork that went behind making such a creative, scary. Facts, yo. It was, it was, it was like it was a production. Like if, 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 like we could, if we, if we were making a show or something, we could have like filmed it right there because it was like you were a part of the show. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was freaking awesome. I was I was blown away by going inside of that house. I was like, man, this is awesome, man. And um, one of the houses we went through, I'm thinking about it, it just hit me. I think it was uh, Dueling Dragons. Is that the Dueling one? Dragons? Yeah. Choose you choose your fate or something. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was a really good, you know, out of all the houses I've been to in Universal for the years, that was the first time they had that in the house that I can uh, think of, you know what I mean? But you walk through and it's, it's kind of like, hey, choose your fate. Which, which way do you want to go? And everybody in the group that we were in went right. And I was, I, I think I was in the lead on that one. I was like, well, heck, we're yeah. going to go left. Yeah. We went left and we got a good scare out of that one, man. So it was it was awesome, man. I really like the creativity Universal started to do in these houses, man. No, facts. Like, I could... Man, I could see myself being like an actor there or being in the scare, really being in the scare zone. Cause the scare zone, I feel like, well, you know, you got a little bit more freedom and, and, and you know, it's, it's a little bit more random in the scare zone. Mm -hmm. You're not a, you know what I mean? So I, 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 I would definitely have a, have a good time. 100%. People out. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. It'd be. And, but, but they had this cool performance though. Also this cool show. Oh, yeah, the shows, man. The show, you know, we've been going for the past 12 years. Um, this show, uh, we went, we was able to make the first show last year. And Jess told me, she was like, first thing she said before we got down there, when we was on the plane, we need to make sure we go to the show this year. And I was like, okay, as long as we hit all the houses, we better make the show. Well, we hit all the houses and everything planned out just perfect when we was able to hit the show. The show this year was absolutely amazing. I believe it's the uh, Fuel Girls. I, I, follow, I follow them on Instagram. Okay. They're very, very freaking talented. I mean, we're talking fire. We're talking half-naked women. You know, for the ladies, you got guys with shirts off and stuff. You got magic. Magic. I mean, loud music, trance, just, just. Banging in your ear, man. It was it was insane. I'm talking about the whole show was an adrenaline rush. Um, I guess the show is over with now, but I, I say one part of the show. Um, when the dancer was put into the uh, what is it called? The gap uh, where they cut your heads off. Uh, oh, the uh, I keep wanting guillotine. It's not guillotine. Gil no, it was guillotine. It was guillotine. Oh, okay. When they put her yeah. and they chopped her head off. Like, I watched her go inside this, this, this machine, and they put her in there. She, her head was moving, and then they released it and chopped her head off. Her head went rolling. They moved off. Then she comes running behind us. I was like, "How the hell did this happen? Am I in Vegas? Is this a David Copperfield? Is this a David Copperfield show? Is this an Angel show or something?" But, dude. They freaking killed it. Shout out to the Fuel Girls. Um, it would be nice to try to meet them uh, maybe next year because they, the they did the same thing last year. But they absolutely kill it. Like the shows, the, the dancing. And I have so much respect for them because anybody that knows anything about entertainment knows that this shit takes a lot of work. It takes repetition. It takes work. So 
for them to be able to put that work in to put on such an amazing show night in and night out for almost two months straight respect man respect so make sure if you're on instagram you follow the fuel girls they do the fire thing and all that stuff man like some nunchucks like a fire Bruce Lee movie or something man but they kill it man so shout out to the fuel girls follow them on instagram they do an amazing job if i go to vegas soon i hope i think they do some shows of Definitely try to peep them in Vegas too. Look, when I say you will be entertained, trust. One hundred percent. Felt like gladiator. Are you not entertained? Yeah, oh, I'm very. And we, I, I took the time the second night to do just something the most random thing ever, right? So, yeah, I was like, man, I feel like we can make like a, a legit like short short movie while we're here totally unscripted you know no script we just we just i was like yo i just picked the phone up and was like boom i i i made it seem like i was vlogging the experience and then we're going we're going from hundred house to hundred house and uh it's already cut and edited and everything and it's it's been submitted to a couple of like uh film festivals that accept mobile movies and stuff and we, it's been accepted to three of them thus far oh that's and cool. uh Yo, hopefully you can, you know, after after this, after you watch this, we'll we'll add it so you can check it out. But it was just it was just like some real black shit too, right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely it's definitely unique and I, I saw an opportunity. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty creative of you, man. Uh it's it's awesome that you got to create such a an idea, you know what I mean? Talk to fly like that, man. So I've been going for years, and I never thought about doing that like that. And I'm a horror fanatic. I love anything horror, um, anything dark. So, you know, to see that, see you create something like that, and I've already seen it, and to see you put it together, I was like, holy cow, man. That's act that, that actually worked because I heard you playing on it. So it was pretty cool to see how everything ended up working out, man. So uh, much respect, man, much respect, and hopefully we can generate some buzz. Universal, make sure you holler at my boy Shinobi, we will be there again next year. Let us get some passes and let us be able to come in and really man. experience, man. We will highlight. We will highlight the whole thing. I mean, this this got to be annually for me now. Like it was that's, amazing. That's how me and Jesse are, are man. We, every year, you know, I'm to the point now. Where I'm like, man, I'm ready to go down there multiple times. You know, during the horror season. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo. I'm ready to go down there for the opener. They do it. Um, they open it up first first week of September. Uh, they did it that way this year, and I'm like, hell, go down there first week of September and hit it again in October. <laughs> that might that might have to be the plan next year. To be honest, that might have to be the plan next year. What you notice, it's so much more enjoyable when you're not having to rush. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I remember going, and we were going to go one night, and. The one night we would choose to go would be Friday. And Fridays, of course, Fridays and Saturdays are insane. And it was always rushing. It was like, God dang, man, we're, we're rushing. We're trying to do everything. And I, it was impossible to do that then. Now, you know, we've seen some of the weights. I mean, the weights are possible, man. And these lines, I think some people don't realize, this isn't your normal, like, waiting on to get on the mummy line. These lines, you might get in the line over here and might not get into, inside the house till you get way over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just, it's insane. So if you plan on going, make sure you definitely at least go a minimum of two nights. <laughs> two nights, preferably during the week if you can. Yes. Yes. Like the opening ceremony was kind of cool too. They had the guy, you know, he had he had the real like he had that gravitas to his voice. Yes. You know what I mean? I I, I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. Usually, then, yeah. Usually, was opening that? ceremonies they have more power. If I could say minor critique, if I could have any critique on this year's event, put more power, man. Universal, do it like how y'all always do it. I've seen open events for Walking Dead, from uh, The Purge, you know, et cetera, uh, Punky Lord, you know what I mean? 
when the pumpkin lord did it, man, I mean, they blew it. Was like, it was like an explosion going off. Like, off is fire everywhere. Everybody cranking up chainsaws. You know, a bunch of actors, you know, scaring everybody. And they open the gates at the same time, man. I mean, my only critique is add more pyro, man. Make it a little bit more. Boom, hit people in the face, man. Let people know, like, you're at Horror Nights. You just paid all your hard-earned money. You're here now. Let's get ready for this show. So, you know, that's that's my minor only, like, it, you know, next year, give me more fire. <laughs> so where did this rank, like, overall for you? Overall, I would say this year, honestly, is probably – I'm going to say this year is probably – but I'm going to say this year is the best year. Between this year and when Walking Dead was at its prime, the opening ceremony when Walking Dead was at its prime was amazing. Amazing. But this year, they're getting so more – they're getting so more uh, – they're getting more intense with the houses now. They're getting more okay. creative. Because they know they have to be creative because you have so many people in these lines – waiting like people everybody they're not like me and you or you know what i mean like me and jess you know people come to these houses with the intentions of being terrified so yeah it's your guys coming there like oh that was not scary or da, 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 da. well not every house is supposed to be scary sometimes you're supposed to enjoy the the hard work that went into creating these houses facts so you know what i mean i mean this this isn't easy i mean you got they start Prepping for, and I keep up with this stuff on various YouTube channels. I start keeping up with Horror Nights in January. In January. They release prediction maps in March. I keep up with it every year on YouTube. You go to the various YouTube channels. Yeah. up with it. So they're creating ideas and things of that nature for these houses at the beginning of the year. So imagine if anybody's in the film industry or anybody that does like any type of work of that nature, imagine having to create an idea. You got to hire actors. You got to hire people to work on set. You got to hire people to build the sets. You, I mean, writers, things of that nature. And you have to put this stuff into fruition by September. Rehearsals, things of that nature. This shit isn't easy, man. <laughs> you know, I'm not an actor and things of that nature, but I do respect and realize, like, hey, this shit isn't easy, man. You have to, these people are really putting in a lot of work. So much respect to Universal, man, for doing that. And you have to go into this thing with an open mind, like, yo, I'm here to have fun. These people are truly working their asses off to create something to entertain the customer. By the customer, me and you are the customer. They're the they're, they're the they're the people providing the service, and I feel like this year's service was level ten, man. One of the best years I've experienced there. Yes, sir. It was it was it, it was amazing. I've been to a lot of like haunted houses in my day, and like this was this One, was top notch. Man, I can me, see why it's a big deal. The what? Early 2000s when we was in Panama City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I first, what I, one of our first scare Shoot, tracks. Actually, no, you talking like was 90s. That 90? Yeah, that, that had to be like 98, 99, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was back in the day. But we talking almost, what, fucking 20, 20 plus years. <laughs> you know, <laughs> almost 30 years of doing this stuff, man. So, you know, we're not. We're not no spring chickens when it comes to this stuff, man. We we're, we're veterans when it comes to these haunted attractions, man. So, you know, Universal right now has the haunted attraction game on lock. Universal is absolutely killing it. Next year, we're gonna get down there a day early, and we're gonna hit Sea Worlds too. Bad. I'm hearing a lot about Sea Worlds, so Sea World would be a really good, a really good uh experience for us also. Hey, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get to it. Yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, this is it, fellas. This is it, folks. This is this is this is the rundown. Everything we got. To say, if you haven't been, you need to go. If you're a fan of horror, 
you need to be there. Also, oh, one thing that we talk about, like, because you it doesn't open until what was it six thirty, right? So you have people that go through uh you know universal during the day. You don't want you really don't want to be doing that today because it's I'm telling you, it's gonna be a long day. No, good glad you brought that up. I made that mistake in the past. I have what's for the time when I didn't have the knowledge on these on the event. And like I said, I've been going 12 years, so I've learned from a lot of trial and error. I've been down there and we've only hit two houses and we only went one day. So do not go to Oz Adventures and then think that you're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights the same day. Break it off. If you're going to do Oz Adventures, do Oz Adventures one day and do Horror Nights the next day. But do not try to do all this stuff in one day. You are absolutely slaughter your body. Unless you have you decide to do the VIP passes and fast pass. But still, even if you do that, you're still going to get spanked, man. It's going to be rough. So uh, do not do Universal Studios and then think you're going to hang around and do horror nights that night. I will go ahead and tell you, you will last to probably about 8 o'clock at night. And the event opens at 630. Funny story. Me and, me and Jess, we, we went down there and we wore matching shoes. We had, I think, some uh, Converse Chuck Taylors on. And we did um, Eyes of Adventures. So we did Eyes of Adventures up until 4 o'clock. We stopped at 4, went and grabbed something quick to eat. Then we went and waited in line, opened the ceremony. We went in. This is back when they opened up at 6. Well, we lasted till about 8 o'clock. We was only able to make, I think we made Walking Dead and we made like two other houses. And by the end, the houses were up to like 190, 100, 170, 190 minute waits. So, <laughs> so uh, some advice for anybody that's interested in going. Do not get, do all that stuff in one day. I, I highly do not recommend it. You will, you will pay for it. And make sure you wear comfortable shoes and make sure you hydrate up. So make sure you hydrate well also. Because it's Florida and it's going to be hot. We know they sell alcohol and stuff out there. You know, like grown folks drink your, drink your alcohol. If you plan on drinking during the night, make sure you hydrate with water throughout the day. Because last thing you need to do is fall out. <laughs> fall out at night. <laughs> hey, facts. Facts. So these, these, these are the tricks of the trade. 100%. Prep, plan, know which houses you want to go to. Check out the like waiting, the normal, what the waiting times have been on day to day. Get your map, get your map. guide. Map. If you look closely, you see we, I got everything aged out. My first day, second day, everything planned out, man. The map will show you where all the houses are going to be. The entrance is right here. Attack one side one day. And then once you attack that one side that first day, have plans to attack the second side the next day. Because if you don't, if you go in there, you're like, oh, I'm going to go to this house over here because this house looks like this is the, for example, this is the Megan house. So I'm going to go over here to the, to the Megan house. Okay, I want to hit the I want to hit the uh, 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 the Chucky house now. So we're going to go to the other side of the park, hit the Chucky house. Dude, you missed out on like four houses over here where the lines were probably like 15 minutes long. Remember, remember that's how, how it was for us. Yep. We, we went in, we hit the exorcist first, and we came out the exorcist. One of the houses, uh, Stranger Things. Yeah. 45 minutes. So we went ahead and hit Yeti and uh, uh, I think it was uh, Duel and Dragons. We hit them yeah. because they were both 15 minute waits. So we hit three houses in almost under an hour. Well, when we came out of the last two 15 minute houses, uh, Stranger Things was like up to an hour, over an hour. Because that's the main attraction. Everybody everybody wants to see Stranger Things. So we went to Chucky. So we went ahead and hit Chucky. Then we hit one more. And then we planned it like that. So make sure you have a plan, man. Be smart. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Just because you see a 45-hour long wait right when you come in, uh -uh. avoid that, man. Hit your houses that have short wait time so you can try to experience everything through the nights that you're going to be there. And also take a break. Take a break throughout the house, man. If you if you make a good time, take a break. Go ride a ride. They got Shrek. They got Transformers. They got the Mummy. We rode the Mummy. Get off your feet a little bit, man. Rest your feet a little bit, man. See a show and things of that nature, man. 
Make sure you try to enjoy the event. Facts. And this hey. is better. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights better. Veteran. So I made a lot of mistakes. I wasted a lot of money going down there. You'd be like, man, I'm going to hit this. But then you go down there, you're like, damn. I felt like I didn't hit nothing. <laughs> so, but next year, it's going to be lit. We're going to. You know, we we going we we already got an idea of how everything's gonna work, so we gonna we gonna really spank it next year. Next year we might go and get them fast passes. Yeah, we may have to do it next year. Look, I'm telling y'all, next year we gonna be there, so y'all better be there. You want you need to pull up. Trust me. Yeah, y'all holler at Chris, man. Uh, all Chris homies, holler at him, man. We're planning. We're going a big group, man. The more the merrier, man. It's fun. We'll go out there in a big group. We'll, we'll drink some cracking and some high noons and <laughs> <laughs> the cracking. Yeah, we get it cracking. <laughs> so now you have it. This is the guide. Also, check out, I call it Survive the Night. It's a little short. It's like a little bit over two minutes. So it's quick, you know. Enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give us some feedback because we coming back. Don't worry about that. Word up. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Be safe, God.